Hi, it folks, it's Mr. Lim here again, and this is our first video about addition polymerization, about how to make an addition polymer. All right, so um, we're going to be learning about addition polymers. Duh. Okay, so what's an addition polymer? Addition polymerization is a combination of a monomer with a double bond within them, and by breaking the double bond and forming a chain of carbons from the new bonds that are available. So here's our double bond on our propene molecule. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to break that double bond, and because it's a double bond, it's like this. See, there are two uh, things there, and each of them has another thing there, and that one happens to bond to another carbon, but that doesn't make a difference, right? So we're going to break this double bond, and we're going to turn it into a single bond, okay? When you come with a single bond, now we're going to be these two electrons which are no longer part of that double bond are going to be able to be turned into single bonds on the opposite sides all right and then if you take another one of these propene molecules you can make another single bond on that side and then you take another propene molecule and you can make another single bond on the other side and you can see that this chain can grow longer and longer and longer as long as you are um, breaking double bonds and then reattaching stuff on either end all right you can bond this way as well have another one over here oh my goodness yellow is a terrible color right and then so on so forth and you are uh, building new and more um, uh, the extending the carbon chain longer and longer and longer all right so um, the two carbons of the double bond make up the backbone of the polymer. So what does that mean? Is that here we have the two carbons of there, all right? And those will be the backbone of the polymer. So just like we had before, here's the first two, here's the second two, and all of these are the carbons that are here, all right? These two carbons, all right? Those are those two carbons. They make up the backbone of the polymer. Right. Any other substances connected to the carbons on the double bond become extensions or side chains of the backbone. So let's have a think. Okay, In this purple one here, those two carbons are the two carbons there and there. Okay, We'll call this one A. We'll call this one B. All right. Attached to A, there is a hydrogen. So here's a hydrogen. And also attached to A is a ethyl group. Okay, and So we draw an ethyl group here, CH2. CH3. Okay, that should go to there. So, yep. Okay, so there's that ethyl group. Attached to the B carbon is a methyl group and a hydrogen. So, here's the hydrogen and a methyl group. So, any other substances connected to the carbons, that's these things here, that's those things there, on the double bond become extensions or side chains of the backbone. So, this next carbon here. This next, uh, what's that? That's a 2-pentene, has the same thing, an ethyl group and a methyl group with two hydrogens over here. And this one here, two hydrogens and a an methyl and an ethyl group. Oh um, no, sir, you've turned this one around. All right. Ultimately, what that just means is that this is the uh, A carbon, and this is the B carbon. This is the A carbon, this is the B carbon, and it doesn't actually matter if you've connected them, A to a B, or B to an A, or B, B to a B, right? Um, as long as you've connected those two carbons within that, you can put them either way, forwards or backwards, as we go along, and I think the next slide will explain that. Okay, hey, look, polymerization of pentoene. We just did that, okay. So let's try this one, polymerization of 255-trimethylheptene. And when I say that, we all try that. I mean, you try that because I'm too lazy to draw this. Okay, but you should recognize that that part there will be on that carbon. And this part here will be on that carbon. And which two carbons will make up the backbone? These two. So I generally, you just draw the carbon chain. And then you draw those side chains on those carbons okay so you recognize that that's going to be a 
like if I was to name this in the A carbon and the B carbon. And so this is the A carbon here with the A side group. That's the C, 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 uh, C and a C here. And the B carbon here will have the C, C, C. All right. And then uh, you just repeat that, the A, the B, every two carbons because that just makes it nice and easy to draw out. Okay, and you should draw that because I'm not going to be bothered. But you get the idea. Have a practice of it. Okay, um, when the polymerization occurs, each monomer can be attached to the chain in either direction. So what am I saying? That was what I was talking about with the A and the B. If this is the A carbon, this is the B carbon, right? You have a chain of carbons of which... You know, they're going to be in pairs, A and B, but it could be B and then A, and then it could be B and then A. And so you can have the CLs attached to the Bs and the Hs attached to the A. All right. Hs, 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 Hs everywhere. Okay. And that would be a polymer. Okay. A couple of things. I haven't been doing a very good job of this, but you need to be showing your polymers with open ends. Okay, so that's a diagram of a polymer um, with open ends. How many repeating units is this? This is three repeating units. One repeating unit, two repeating units, three repeating units. All right, just showing um, that. Okay, and I think that's it, making an addition polymerization. Uh, you go have a practice of that one from before and maybe just practice a couple of others on your own. Adios. Oh no, there we go.